Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Nikon FA. It was officially manufactured from 1983 to 1987, although they were still available new until uh, 1989. Also introduced in 83 were the FE2 and the FM2N, so that was a pretty productive year for Nikon. This sports a titanium vertically traveling shutter goes from one second to four thousandth of a second uh, plus bulb set up with this dial here. It was made by Copal to Nikon specifications. This was the first camera ever to use matrix metering. Uh, Nikon called it the automatic multi-pattern. It uses five segments, one in the middle and then the four quadrants around it. You can use this button to switch to traditional center weighted metering. Memory serves Nikon's was a 6040 favoring the center. It'll take any lens uh, except for the pre AI, uh, like from the original uh, F model. Uh, can't use the G lenses uh, because they're electronic only. Uh, crop sensor lenses. Not only would the circle be too small for the 35 millimeter, but they also protrude pretty far into the body. So some of them will smack on the mirror. And then none of the other bodies could use the APS, uh, the IX series lens. But the AI, the AIS, any of the AF lenses, uh, this is actually an autofocus lens from the vintage that had the little screwdriver uh, focusing works just fine as a manual lens on this. This was Nikon's first camera to have shutter priority and all four of the different modes. It's got program, aperture, shutter, and full manual. In the program modes, uh, it biases for a faster shutter for anything longer than 135 millimeter. So that's pretty cool. It helps uh, keep your images stable. It's powered by two LR44 uh, 1.5 volt batteries. Um, I'm blanking on the number, but there's one where the stack of the two batteries is already in one. That's what's in here right now. It works at manual. Uh, at its shutter, speed, shutter sync speed of 1 250th of a second or bulb mode, you just get no, uh, no metering at that. But it lets you keep rolling if your batteries die when you're out in the field. The film advance is also the power switch, which is pretty cool. Kind of like the, uh, the Cosina bodies by ProMaster. Just set it right there and it's metering and it's on and you set it like that and it's off. Um, you manually set the ISO over here. It goes from 12 to 4,000. And it also has the exposure compensation, plus and minus two steps. Another thing that's kind of cool, there's no film in it right now, is you take your shot, sorry, take your shot, and then this, little lever by the film advance lever you hold that cock it again and that cocks the shutter without advancing it letting you do multiple exposures then you just take that shot and repeat as necessary um, there's no limit to it except for when you've horribly overexposed your frame the viewfinder is really nice depending on the mode you're in it's got a little LCD up at the top so if you're in shutter priority, it shows you your aperture and it also shows you um, your selected shutter in addition to knowing what you set it to. Also in aperture priority, uh, it shows you what shutter speed it's selecting. In program mode, it shows you both values. Uh, in manual, it still gives you helpful information. Um, it'll show you how you're set. and then that same LCD will show you um, whether you're high or low, the, you know, how you're set versus the, uh, what the meter's reading. Um, I believe it's FEE. If it just can't get the exposure, it'll give you that error message. This is a 
blast of a camera to use. Uh, this is another one I borrowed from my buddy Carl. I did most of the shooting uh, with this uh, autofocus 24 to 50. His kit also has an E series 50 f1.8 and this really nice 70 to 210 E series zoom. Um, I'll save it for the next roll, which I haven't shot. There's an SB18 uh, Nikon flash. It's a smart shoe. It'll uh, talk to the flash and the camera body, so it'll give you, you know, that the flash is ready. It does do um, through the lens, uh, off of the film metering. So when you take the shot with a flash, it'll fire the flash, and it'll just leave the shutter open until uh, that little blue sensor at the film plane has received enough light and then it'll close it. So that's really, really sweet shooting in low light. So I'm definitely going to shoot another roll through this guy and I'll see you then.